The following video asks us to find the equation of a line perpendicular to the line AB, and it needs to go through the point C. So the, when you're doing a problem like this, you have to remember, what does it mean to have perpendicular lines? Well, what we know about perpendicular lines is that two perpendicular lines always have negative reciprocal slopes. So if I can find the slope of AB, then by taking the negative reciprocal of that, I can find my line I'm looking through, which would be uh, the line through point C. And once I know slope, I can use the point and the slope in the y-intercept, the slope-intercept form to find the equation. So the first thing to do is find the, the slope of AB. We use the slope formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And so I need to subtract those, and it's going to give me um, a negative 1 minus 1 all over 3 minus 3. Well, that's going to give you something interesting. Ne negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. That's not interesting. But 3 minus 3 is 0. Well, you can't have a zero in the denominator of a fraction, never. So what we refer to that to as is no slope, which then creates problems for the slope-intercept formula because you have to have a slope to use a no slope-intercept formula, and no slope implies it's a vertical line. The way I think about it is uh, what the only line you couldn't walk on or climb on would be a vertical line, and so that's why it has no slope. So let's go ahead and graph AB and just get an idea of what we're looking at. Because we, we want to have a line, uh, we, gotta, we, we can see as I draw this in that AB is a vertical line. And so what would a perpendicular line to AB be? Well, let's look at C. So we're going to go and plot C. And then if you think about perpendicular to 90 degrees, well, it would be a horizontal line. And the way you could think about it is negative 2 over 0, if you took the reciprocal, it would be 0 over negative 2, which would be a slope of 0. And horizontal lines have slope 0. Well, so how do you write the equation of a horizontal line? Well, you've got slope 0, um, so the, the mx goes away, and so you're just looking for the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is the same as the y-coordinate. Um, and on our problem, the y-coordinate is negative um, 5, uh, and so our answer is um, going to be y equals negative 5, because it's always a y equals a number. And in our case, that y value is always is negative 5, and so the solution is y equals negative 5. That's the slope, the horizontal, or the perpendicular.